Welcome to your new free family tree. While you're waiting for your GEDCOM to import, let's go over some things that will help you get the most out of Roots Finder. There are two things you'll want to do right away. First, select your hint sources. You can always adjust your hint settings by clicking hint settings in the left hand menu, then selecting or deselecting the sources you want. Be sure to scroll down and click save. You can choose to get hints for everyone in your tree, or if you're overwhelmed with too many hints, you can just set the focus to just your direct ancestors or your end of line ancestors. If you don't have hints for a particular person, check to make sure this little star icon on the person page is filled in. This person may not be included in your current hint settings, but you can still get hints for them by clicking the star and making sure it's filled in. Hints show up as little green circles in your tree. To view them, go to the person's page and look over on the right. Click any hint to see more information and follow the link. Next, you'll want to make sure you've installed the Roots Finder Web Clipper. The Web Clipper is a browser extension for Firefox or Chrome, which allows you to add evidence to your tree with the click of a button. You can install it by clicking Apps from the left-hand menu then installing the extension for Chrome or Firefox. You'll use the Web Clipper to accept hints from a partner's page and also to easily gather information from all major genealogy websites. For example, to accept this hint, I simply click the Web Clipper, then I review the evidence, and I assign it to people in my tree or create a new person. When you save, the evidence will automatically be added to the timeline for everyone you've tagged. The Clipper works the same way when you're doing research at Ancestry, Family Search, Find My Past, etc. Just clip, review, and tag, and the evidence will be added to your tree. RootsFinder's evidence-based paradigm makes it easy to track information back to its source. On a person's page, click any item in the timeline to see more information. You can also use the evidence analysis report to compare information from all your sources. If you want to add additional evidence, click the plus button here. You'll see a data entry section similar to the Web Clipper, which allows you to add evidence to entire families at once. Add photos by clicking the plus button in the media section. Look over on the left hand side to see the major functions of Roots Finder, including research logs, DNA analysis, and reports. For help using Roots Finder, click this help icon here in the bottom corner. It will take you to help articles and videos, or you can send us a note and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. As you gather more and more items, you might enjoy browsing through them using the media wall. When you find something you want to share, simply click the share icon to post on Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter. You can also invite family members to browse around by sending the URL. If your tree is public, they'll be able to look at the images without even having to log in, as long as the media pertains to someone who's deceased. To learn more about the different features within Roots Finder, stay tuned for the next videos on our YouTube channel.